I'm Mark Kelly, Mr. Saltwater Tank, and this is your Friday morning quick tip. An important part of your herbivore or omnivore nutritional needs is algae, and the easiest way to feed it is in the form of sheet algae or nori like this. And as your fish get bigger, they're going to attack the nori, likely rip it down on the clip where it's going to get blown all over your tank, lay down a coral, or get chewed up in a power head. So how do you feed those big fish that are hungry for the algae, but keep them from making a mess of your tank? Here's the easiest way I found to do it. First, I take about as much nori as they're gonna get fed at that time. So my guys get about a quarter sheet at any given time. And then I meter it out. I wanna take the curb off their appetite. The way I do that is feeding them just a little bit at a time. So I'll take this much, I'll put it on the clip. Then I come back in five minutes. Once the fish have eaten all the algae off the clip and they've got a little bit of food in their belly, I found that they're not as aggressive when it comes to eating the rest of the nori. Then what I'll do is put in the rest of the nori and let them go to town on that. But since I've already fed them once, they're not near as aggressive about the food and I found that it doesn't get torn off the clip, even with my big trigger fish because they've got a little bit of food in their bellies, their appetite is wetted just enough, it's curved just enough, but they're not quite as aggressive when they go to eat. It doesn't make such a mess. So if you're gonna feed nori, try metering it out to help keep it from blowing all over your tank. I'm Mark Kelly, Mr. Saltwater Tank. This has been your Friday morning quick tip. Till next time, have a good one, enjoy your tanks, happy nori feeding, and know your tank personality.